Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are having a gameplay, PvP gameplay into the zone 4 um, for the season T1. Actually, most of the enemies and from our allies, uh, there are a lot of tier 5 players, so it will be interesting how my long range warfare uh, tactic will work here. Uh, the main idea behind the battle is that we are removing enemies, which is SHP here uh, from the zone 4. Uh, our allies are Aga, so like main battlefield is all about gaining uh, the territory in order for them to for for them to just simply move away from the zone four which means basically winning the uh heavy k right my alliance is mainly in allies with aga and the eternal dragons which are the uh, winners of our uh, kingdom so far i will try to use my artifacts that's always my uh, best way of uh, dealing damage whenever we are fighting against uh, tier 5 players as always if i will get uh, at least 10,000 merits out of every single legion it will be success for me uh, that's how i generally uh, like value uh, my fighting skills and in general how i do perform on the battlefield so right now the thanks for like long range warfare i'm able to hit this uh, mage legion uh, which is like actually great uh, before it was almost impossible for marksmen to have an impact on the battlefield uh, but right now after the uh, buffs after the seasonal talents which i'm really really happy that we are going to keep them um, i'm i'm having fun so far this season um, i'm having like more than six million merits and as a free-to-play player that's quite a good amount of uh, merits uh, even though like there is still a couple of weeks until uh, my uh, kvk will be over and i will start a new season of course as a marksman player i'm really really excited uh, about the two new uh, marksman heroes uh, I, i'm saving my gems how like whatever i have uh, in order to try my luck and maybe I will get both of them. It's a season starting rewards, right? So far, I don't know, like my movement, I'm in and out. My main uh, uh, play style is about not getting targeted. Doesn't matter why, right? Because if I will just simply die, uh, I'm not going to deal any damage. Yep, like if there is no other targets, uh, like rather than infantry, I guess it's my, much better to do something there like, rather than just moving away. I guess that was the best usage of my shadow blades. And yeah, we continue dealing some damage so far. Like my legions are uh, high level, high HP, which is the most important. Uh, if we're gonna take it into the consideration that we are fighting against tier five players. Uh, I'm quite happy already that I managed to stay alive longer. Uh, we are making union with Aka right now. That's why, like, I guess in six or seven hours, uh, uh, we will have union and it will be much, much easier for us to fight with them so far. Uh, we are trying to avoid the DPS uh, between us. So we are fighting against uh, ships one by one. As always, like, uh, you have to choose your main marksman, main uh, marksman, marksman hero, which you will be upgrading, right, if you are marksman player. Currently, I'm having my Tinara as a mark main marksman hero, and I have used my all of my legendary tokens in order for me to have at least one good legion in general, right? So far, like, in the right now, I will try to be a little bit aggressive uh, simply because we do see that enemies has uh, way more legions than us on the battlefield let's just move up yep like i always try to uh, target backline that's the perfect 
a usage of uh, ranged legions in general but if, if there is none uh, i guess infantry is also like a uh, great choice like the quality of the fights you can measure it whenever there is less and less uh, cavalry players that's my honest opinion so currently i have not seen a single cavalry player which means uh, these fights are quite high quality well, simply because I think Cavalry is one of the weakest uh, Legion types in the game. Uh, like, simply if we're gonna see any Cavalry Legion right here, you will see how, how fast they will just die. Uh, and without dealing much of a damage. Yeah, my positioning is getting worse and worse. Simply because we are slowly losing this uh, fight but yeah i guess this should be better yeah this guy's enemy right now it's quite hard for me to understand who is ally and who is enemy i guess yeah finally you this you do see this cavalry player right yeah he just got destroyed that's why i said uh calves are one of the weakest legion types in the whole game I guess I should be moving back a little bit more. But generally, it's pretty hard to fight against tier 5 players whenever you are tier 4, but uh, understanding the positioning and understanding when to attack will generate you enough merits to have a respectable uh, merit store all the time. Uh, and I think in general you are having amazing rewards in your merit stores if you are active player. Uh, and yeah, as I have mentioned many, many times, uh, Call of Dragons has one of the best combat gameplay uh, in general out of Kingdom Builder games. And I think you have to be playing fighting, you have to be fight fighter in like if you want to enjoy Call of Dragons in general. Well, it's pretty obvious that I'm hitting this tier 5 player, but yeah, I don't have any other choice uh, so far. I will try to play a little bit aggressive uh, if not i guess uh, this will be like this first skirmish uh where like i will be able to check the merits i got let's just destroy this guy he wants to refresh uh we might see a couple of uh yep i guess it's a refill time and it's perfect moment for me to see um how much merits my legions got um, like number should be great in my opinion because i managed to stay alive for a long period of time uh, hopefully my legions will go home safely and i will be able to check all right i guess we do continue this skirmish because the enemy just uh, straight up rushed on us yeah i guess we have one more uh, infantry yeah right now these uh, Goresh and Skullwood both uh, tier 5 players both infantries the best infantry uh, legions uh, on the battlefield is always exciting to check yeah I guess our uh, Goresh and Skullwood is kind of strong uh, because it's just tanked the whole bunch of legions which were attacking us yeah, I'm trying my best to use my Phoenix Eye, but it's getting uh, harder and harder. But I guess, yeah, that's the most most good Phoenix Eye I could use. And yeah, I guess that, sh that should be the over. I, I managed to stay alive quite a bit. So it was for me to time to go home and to check how much merits we got out of this fight against tier 5 players, which is always really hard, right? As I have mentioned before, me, for me, uh, more than 10,000 merits is uh, enough uh, to say that I had a good fight uh, with my legions. So, uh, Craig and Thea, I, I think that's the weakest legion I have in terms of marksmen, 40,000. My best legion is Nico and Kinara in terms of levels of the heroes, 70,000 merits. Um, like, yeah, mage legion simply because I want to have in general range uh hero pairs, and that's the current best one which I have in terms of mages 40,000. Uh, Syndran and Frager, I, I, I thought it should have been more, but I guess I have here 11,000, nine here, 
yeah i think uh, these battles have been pretty fine uh, like averagely i have more than 10,000 merits per uh, legion and uh, in my opinion for the free-to-play player uh, that's uh, more than enough uh, to be happy whenever you are fighting against your five players uh yeah currently i'm having a lot of fun uh, with long range warfare playing with the ranged units units mainly with the marksmen uh, i'm really excited uh, about two new marksmen uh, legendary heroes and i'm hoping to get them uh, it would be a big big boost i'm saving all of my gems in order to get them and i will be testing and trying the trying them out if i will get them on the battlefield to make a great videos for you in terms of hospital well in general whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players uh, hospitals are always almost full well this is full but generally i call full well whenever there is like half million uh, half billion uh, severely wounded units and yep that's what happens uh, in general but thankfully my serve i'm already into the late game of the season uh, i'm i have maxed out my elixir production which is quite high number in my opinion so in general uh, if you are going to be active on your senior season try to get ex elixir production villages try to uh, upgrade the policies as fast as possible and after that you will have a chance to <clears throat> Uh, be more active uh, to generate more merits because like hospital is one of the most important especially if you are a free-to-play player uh, you don't want to use resources uh, for the healing of your troops because you need resources to upgrade your buildings your research your army because later and later you are going to the game more and more resources are required to do any action into the game uh, in terms of merits, uh, well, I have always mentioned that uh, my idea about the game is that I know that it's pain to win, but um, in my opinion, I'm showcasing that even free-to-play players like me who have never spent a single dollar in this game can have fun, can generate merits, uh, can, uh, can, like in general, can take fun out of the game where you are not spending anything uh, and you are fighting against anybody doesn't matter if they are pay to win or uh, free to play players i hope uh, you like this type of videos because in general i have mentioned many many times that call of struggles has the best combat gameplay in any kingdom builders which i have uh, ever seen uh, so these videos are showcasing um, how uh, how much you can like learn the tactics and the positioning during the war time and during the pvp gameplay and you can generally get some merits because in general i think uh, if you are missing out on the uh, items which are on merit shop every single week uh, that's actually really really bad because like you are having a lot of, uh, of really really valuable items here like not only about elixirs like a lot of speed ups like you might get a warrant for example sometimes you are having amazing warped skills one star for example sometimes two star mostly of course zero star but these uh, all of these items generally uh, help you to progress through the game that's why i always advise anybody uh, who is playing call of dragons to generate as much merits as possible to get every single item which you will see here uh, every week and also on daily basis because it's a huge boost uh, like imagine every single day you are buying everything what you can buy with the merits and every single week here like at least one or two items and the rewards which you can uh, get which is all random is amazing for your account in the future or currently so like in general this is amazing feature like merit shop in my opinion from the for this game and it gives us extra uh, fun and extra uh, motivation to uh, fight between each other i hope you like this video if you do press like subscribe share comment it always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, more uh, content for this game uh, i hope you are having amazing day morning or night wherever you are i'm going to see you very very soon bye bye and good luck